design of combination circuits as an example we are looking at uh, bcd2 2421 code we know what is bcd code and what is 2421 code bcd stands for uh, binary coded decimal as you know 2421 code also we have seen so now let us look at the first step of the design what we do in the first step of the design is we try to establish relation between input and output what is what is that the name given for input output relation truth table okay so we will look at the truth table from the description given what is the description given is for us we need to develop a circuit which is capable of converting bcd data into 2421 code okay bcd stands for binary coded decimal as we know so what we do now is we do look at the truth table now if you look at the truth table b c d binary coded decimal it will be there from 0 to 9 only why binary coded decimal decimal numbers are 0 to 9 decimal means 10 0 to 9 only so 0 to 9 how many bits required to represent 4 bits why 2 power 4 16 possible combinations 2 power 3 is 8 so we need minimum 4 bits okay but after 9 there is no valid input okay so if you look at it here you can look at the input output relations the input is bcd code output is what exactly output is output is your 2421 code so what you should know is what is bcd code you should know what is 2421 code you should know then only you can build or develop or design a bcd2 2421 code possible okay so what is problem statement or problem description problem description for this design is name itself okay name itself is specification name itself is gives the details about what you are supposed to do problem statement okay so once you develop the input output relations which is truth table what is output here which is function of input so we try to express every output now i am making it simple input i am writing as it is input i am writing as it is okay what i do is i'll take my pen so here this part is uh, this part is input actually there are four inputs but we are taking only one one output here to take care there are four outputs so for one output i need one k man if there are four outputs four k maps so input data see here a b is changing from 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 here is a b changing a b is changing 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 okay so what are we doing c d is changing c d is changing from 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so c d is changing here where a b is fixed here 0 0 next a b is changing to 0 1 c d is changing the map is given here k map what we try to do is we try to enter the values of x whatever is there here into the map so this is the k map for output x once you enter those values then we will go for simplification is this clear don't cares are supposed to be written i have not written here because if you look at the table the rest of the cases are don't cares why input is not defined output is also not defined so what we try to do is we'll take all outputs as don't cares so those don't cares will be from from where to where 10 11 12 13 14 15 total six combinations those six combinations we need to write over here okay here you should write as don't care here we should write as a don't care here we should write as a don't care here we should write as don't care here don't care here don't care right so you can go for one eight one four four combinations are written here this is one four combination this is another four combination then these two ones and four six don't cares Combining them, 
you will get the min terms. So, the min terms for this 4, this 4 and this 8. This 8 is A, rest is BD plus BC. So, the expression for the X which is output, okay, BD plus BC plus A. Next, what we try to do is, I am taking once again the table, the very first, I took the table in detail, full table, later on based on the number of k-maps that I am dealing with, number of outputs with which I am dealing, I am showing the table once again for the reference. Say the here, if you look at, this is input which is fixed, okay, outputs earlier I took x, now I am taking yz, because I have a k-map for output y, then I will be having a output z also one more k-map. For every output, there should be a k-map. Okay. What is the size of the k-map? Who will decide the size of the k-map? Number of inputs. Number of inputs, how many? 4. How many possible combinations? 16 possible combinations. As inputs are 4, we need to go for 4 input. 4 input, that means 4 variable k-map. If 3 input means 3 variable k-map. 5 input means 5 variable k-map, okay. So, inputs decide the size of the k-map, output size decides number of k-maps required. So, in this case 4, so 4 k-maps. So, now you see here, now is the k-map that we have drawn earlier in the same way? No. We used to write top AB, bottom CD. Now, here it is AB on the bottom, on the top we are writing CD. Accordingly, the cell numbering is going to change, okay. So, that is what exactly I am trying to explain you people. When A, B is 0, 0 for these 4 cases, when C, D is changing, that means these 4 cases, whatever the value of Y is there for first 4 cases, this needs to be entered where? In the first row. May I repeat once again? When A, B is 0, 0. That means this case. When C D is changing from 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, whatever the output is there, that output is 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros. These 4 zeros are there in this first row. Why? A B is 0, 0, C D is changing. When A B is 0, 1, where is A B 0, 1? This is A B 0, 1. What about your uh, CD value, CD once again changing from 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is your output Y? Your output Y is changing from 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1 is here. If you see this row, 1, 0, 1, 1. What we are doing is, whatever we have written the input-output relation, we are somehow putting into the K-map and we are trying to reduce the expression. So, from this what you are going to get is, Upon entering the values of y into the k-map, z into the k-map, you will get a reduced expression for y, reduced expression for z. What we are putting in the k-map? The values to be entered into the k-map is output. Always you need to take the output values that you need to put it into the k-map. Okay? Similarly, for z, we need to put a whole values of z, the whole set of values of z into the k-map as per the table. So, in simple words what I am trying to say is, if I go back, if I take the very first table, okay, if I take the very first table, what we are doing here is, this whole table we are converting into 4 k maps, 4 input k maps. From that I am getting expression for output x, output y, then output z and output t. Okay. In every map, if I am trying solving for y, I should enter the values of y in the k map. If I am solving for x, I have to enter the values of x into the k map. If I am solving for t, I need to enter the values of t into the k map and then combine them, get a reduced expression. Okay? If you are solving for z, the values of z should be entered into the k map. What is the meaning of that? The whole relation, input output relation, we are putting in k maps, we are trying to get a a simplified version of an expression, okay, which is going to give you the converter circuit. So, with that, 
being done we are going to get of course you know how to work with the k map i need not explain which we have seen already we do look for largest number of ones combinations okay we have don't cares we do use don't cares as ones by combining them we are going to get the expressions similarly for t we are going to combine them so on the whole from the previous three k maps and this k map putting all together we are going to get the expressions as bc plus bd plus a for x a plus bd bar plus bc for y for z it is a plus b bar c plus b bar b c bar d where t is equal to d once we know the expressions what i can do i can implement this using a circuit so here is the circuit what you have started with problem statement started with a name then truth table converting truth table from the truth table getting expressions for each and every output variable then describing the expression whatever the expression do you get it that for that develop the circuit this is the end of the design this holds good for all sort of conversions or converters okay what are the key takeaways from this discussion we will look into it before that if at all you want to verify that the, our design is proper or not for that we need to use the tools one such tool is logic sim logic simulator i will show you in the next session how to open a logic sim how to install a logic sim how to verify your design using logic sim okay so verification we need to do it by applying the inputs that is first one so what are the key takeaways we have to build input output relations we have to get the expressions for your of course you need to enter your values in the k maps okay so from that we need to get your expressions so this is all we have seen with this i am going to stop this